Welcome back to Marwell Manor Farm for episode 16 with me, Mr. Silly P. Right, well, we're on field 15, and as you can see, we're quite a chunk through the oat harvest on here. I finished. What time is it now? Uh, 5.37. I can't remember what time I started the sugar beet harvest over there. It took some time. It took a lot of loads backwards and forwards. At the end of the last episode, we had completed both of the sugar beet contracts we had, and I had put one load of 45,000 litres into one of the barns. In total, my estimate was what? I said well, maybe 1.3 million, didn't I? I said I think I might get off of it. We got, if my maths is correct, 1 million thousand litres of sugar beet. But, whilst it took a long time, and I got hit a couple of times on the extra hours leasing fee on the harvester, we're up to 564,000. It's lucrative, but it's, you have to do it in bulk. There's a lot of it. Um, so, we got it done at the end of the day. Um, now comes the tricky bit. I'm going to finish off field 15, but my contract for Chad um, at the, uh, who, the police stables with the police horses was for 50,000 litres of oats. And they were going to pay me 60,000 which is absolutely fantastic. I've got 45,000 litres in here, and if we go across to here, oats in storage, we have got 20,677. So I can fulfil my 50,000 litres <coughs> to the police horses. That's not a problem at all. I'm going to go and sell that now, or I say sell it, deliver it, um, doesn't matter which one I go to. That's going to go now. The rest of the oats that come off that field are going to go into storage and they're going to be for horses, etc. Or I might even sell some more. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. But what I'm also going to do, and it's one of those weird happenings. Like I've said before, it's almost like fate intervenes. Um, we are going to head into darkness quite soon. But field um, tw uh, 21... Field 18 and Field 15 are all going to need ploughing. Um, so I thought, I'm going to have to buy a plough. No problem. I was going to buy the uh, Gregoire Besson SPSL 9, the big 10 metre one. It was going to be, what, 120 odd grand or I think, whatever that costs. Um, and I would use this to pull it and overnight plough those fields. However, in the meantime, the mods that have come out there is the Lizard Neo set, and if you haven't seen the mod review, um, we'll have a quick look. It's in here. I think this one comes under ploughs, doesn't it? So yeah, the, the Gregoire Bess on SPSL 9 is 130 grand and requires 550 horsepower. 10.5 metre, 11 slots. Now, the Lizard Neo Disc V6000 is only 22,800 for a 6 metre and it works as a plough. But what I'm also going to do is get the roller cultivator. I think I've got to remember where this is. There, this one here. If I get that to go with it, which is just another 11,500, um, I can um, plough and cultivate behind it on all three of those fields. So, just, just job done. It's it's an absolute no-brainer. I also need to fertilise those fields. Blimey, it got dark all of a sudden. I also need to fertilise those fields. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to sell the cultivator we've got. I'm going to buy both of those, which works out way cheaper than buying the Gregoire Besson. I know it's narrower by about four metres. Um, but it will. I can get it to two things at once and I just it would just mean it would be left running longer than it would do if I did the 10 metre um, but it's not too bad at all we've got a lot of different options also I'm hoping by the morning the uh, bunker silo will have been uh, will have fermented so we will have silage which means we can start making TMR with the money we got we can also buy our food mixer and with the Anderson DLC having gone live, it also means we can get a larger feed mixer, which is going to be brilliant. I mean, it's, like I say, it's all kind of fallen into place. We've been incredibly lucky. Um, 
that's the first part of the contract that came in at 50,000 so I'm owed 10,000 more just go and get the last 5,000 litres sell that and that's us done on the oak contract as well so what I'm going to be doing now is a fair bit of work off screen overnight ready for the next things we're going to be doing I also need to I've got to remember to do it this time exercise the horses because they need to be done before midnight and I'm going to make sure I do that so for you not very long at all for me quite a bit of work between now and the morning when I will see you next for more shenanigans see you in the morning so where are we with all this insanity it's 8 22 in the morning and I'm on the last couple of bits I mean literally what two might be two and a bit strips um, this setup with this new Neo the V6000 and the 6500 I can't remember what the names of them were anyway the rear roller cultivator and the front well the plow for all intents and purposes um, is brilliant because you can do it all in one pass which I love downside it's narrower but yeah, at the end of the day you're saving yourself time on two passes but I suppose if you use the um, the 10 meter or 10.5 meter SPSL 9 um, then you could then go over it with a massive cultivator and you know so it swings and roundabouts price wise this is the other problem I've been having mm, is the uh, let's get on the right one when you put it on a worker the workers don't like working <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous but it's true um, they can make an absolute hash of it all they don't like tight turns like that it leaves bits um, and I think weirdly the plough is a little bit narrower than the cultivator so would I agree that I made a, a sound purchase maybe not I'm, I'm still jury's out I mean I've done all the field 21 let's have a look in here and I'll show you what I mean right field 21 soil composition that is I did fertilize it before that is now plowed doesn't need plowing now there's odd little bits and I think that's where I used this setup that it missed the odd little bit here and there as it was turning it just does that most of it I did myself manually in the dark and it was horrendous field 15 is cleared I'm going to show you something on there in a minute um, and that is also ploughed and has a fertilising state. 18, fertilising state, and we are now on the last little bit of ploughing. That strip there is all we've got left, and then we are ready for what we're going to do next on these. Um, now, what I was doing manually was leaving the roller down all the time, because it doesn't matter if it cultivates. Um, and then all I was doing was just dropping the plough down when I needed it, cruise control on, and away I go so I've been doing it rather than hiring a worker and it's it kind of yes it's taken a long time I was playing in real time and it's taken me several hours I know the last couple of days there was the Anderson DLC um, there was a massive mod drop on Monday wasn't there and then yesterday there were some more mods well today I know a couple of people said well, it'd be nice if you get back to proper farming and I agree, absolutely agree. Um, so I'm back on proper farming. The reason I didn't post a farming video was it had taken me hours and hours and hours just to get all this done. So, you know, and I know there are kind of... There are YouTuber cheats that you can do. You know, I could have off-screen put a load of money in. I could have leased five machines, all with massive ploughs, done it all then gave them back and you know it's st the job's still done i've done it in a fraction of the time but i kind of think well that's fine oh, raise that up. and thinking about it now i probably wish i hadn't done <laughs> but you know it's one of those things isn't it now hopefully today we are having our first lot of cows delivered overnight the tmr uh the tmr the silage in the bunker silo is done fermenting. That came up in the middle of the night. So we should be getting our first 10 cows. They're coming from the Lord of the Manor. 
um, and that's part of the deal we've got 20 chickens 10 cows we've got to supply him with milk and some eggs but I've got a lot of other cow contracts and I've got a couple of milk contracts so um, one of my cow contracts is from Cody um, Cody from Spring Creek Cattle Company I mentioned that before um, he sent me one and then sent me an update I think I'm going to go with the first one Cody if that's okay with you I hope it is um, so I'm going to bounce between and if you don't normally watch my channel this may seem a little bit confusing and I apologise um, but this is to do with my subscriber contracts and a few people again have asked me because they're new to my channel they're not too sure um, and here's how it works subscribers will put an idea in for something they would like me to do generally speaking that comes with a little bit of a backstory or something to go with it for their particular farm why they need whatever it is they're asking for it also comes with an offer of payment whatever that may be whatever they've decided is a fair enough payment for that contract now the, the thing about that has always been I can only do things now there is absolutely there is no way in game on PS4 that between PS4 Xbox PC that I can actually transfer products produce um, and there's absolutely no way that you can send me money it just you know that's not how it works I have to do all the rest of it myself it kind of gets added into the narrative I work my you know my video magic and do what I need to do generally speaking because people are curious how it works um, what I would do is uh, using what used to be the money cheat boxes we now got the government subsidies um, and then I can make payment if a person's offered me 50,000 I might put one of those cheat subsidies in or government subsidies I get paid the 50,000 and then what I do to balance the books to make sure everything's okay I lease equipment and so I can get that money back down to where it should be that's all done off screen so as far as you see and I know I may be spoiling some of the magic and that kind of thing but um, the people were, were unsure how that was working now the thing is it's always been that some people have sent me contracts where they've offered me things like I'll give you a hundred thousand litres of barley which I think that's fantastic that could help me out with another contract the problem is up until now I've then had to produce that barley to then harvest to then put into a trailer to then say look this person has sent me this barley but now that we've got the um, the multi-produce all singing all dancing silos where you can pretty much get anything potentially now that expands the subscriber contract idea because people don't have to pay me in cash it is possible now that somebody could say well, look could you do this for me and I'll give you X amount of fertilizer or I'll give you a load of milk or I'll give you you know and now in game I can actually make that work so that's big that's a big big change so those silos are going to make a massive difference to the subscriber contracts the way they're done how potentially you put a subscriber contract forward to me um, an idea you might have um, it can change things sorry I was just concentrating on which button I had to press to disconnect that um, so yeah huge huge difference so anyway we should be getting 10 cows they should be coming I just thought I'd mention that with subscriber contracts um, because Cody actually runs and works on um, an Angus beef ranch in the US um, and he helped me out on a couple of, was it Lonak Farm? I'm trying to think, anyway um, what I'll do is pull this up why am I going to pull this up? yes because I'm going to use the Massey Ferguson next um, now a lot of these contracts that are coming up shortly are going to be I won't go too far, there we go are going to be kind of intertwined in a little way um, I'm going to go and move these first before I do anything else now, overnight I've been incredibly busy but I'll get onto that in a minute so, where we are at the moment so Cody, uh, in Kansas, in the USA so, after you helped us out so tremendously at Lone Oak watching our cattle delivery over the winter for our customers we have always felt in debt to you and being in the tail end of winter here in the US before putting cows out to pasture we're running short on feed it's a kind of a common thing when, when people are asking for bales and things like that to make TMR it'll be a feed shortage or crop shortage that kind of thing which is great I, you know I like the whole concept it gives me a reason to want to play and it gives me a reason to make it more immersive you know so 
Um, would you be willing to send us 30 hay bales? I can do that. Field 19 is ready to go again. Um, and just 10 straw. And uh, you can do silage bales, but we prefer to get two IT runner trailers of silage because the way our conveyors for mixing is set up, it works perfectly. We'd be willing to deliver you 18 young cows, so that's the payment. 18 young cows ready for producing, and we're also willing to pay for you to lease the IT runner. So what I can do is, um, they're going to pay for the lease of the IT runner. I'll get the IT runner trailer. I should have, and this is what I need to check. Let's just jump out of here, because we'll go and check this now. I should have enough um, silage now, over here, that I can supply them with two IT runners. Now the IT runner trailers... There we go. Bunker silo is open. I can't remember how much we had in here. We had quite a bit, didn't we? Help window on. We've got 752,000 litres. We've got plenty. So if I do two trailers worth at 45,000 litres each, that's 90,000 litres. That's fine. That's not a problem at all. Um, and like I say, the payment will be in cows. So what I have also done overnight in preparation for this particular contract is over there... I don't know if you can see through there. Probably not. There are 10 straw bales ready to go. So there are 10 straw bales. That's part of that contract. So I need to do 20 hay. It was 20 hay, wasn't it? No, 30 hay. 30 hay bales and the silage. So that'll be what I'm going to be doing. This is a calculated risk. Because I've then got two other contracts. So Cody, that will be happening. Don't you worry. Um, I've got a contract, a couple, where it's kind of cow sitting. Which I did on... Um, Lone Oak. Um, one from Country Farmer. And Country Farmer says, um, I'm leaving for the winter and I have 38 cows that need taking care of. It's an unusual number, 38. I don't know why 38. Um, they only need to be fed grass, but if you want to give them TMR, that's up to you. Your payment. Uh, you have to sell the milk and you'll get that amount of money for the milk. Plus, we'll also get manure and slurry, which is great. The duration of this, it does say 12 episodes, 12 day. We're not, I suppose episodes won't be days, will it? Um, so I will look after them for this person for a certain amount of time. I won't own them, they'll go back. So I get the byproducts, but they get them back. So that's fantastic. So I've got that one. So that takes me up to 10 from Lord of the Manor, 18 from Cody, which will be mine. So I'll have 28, 38 from here. Um, so the, 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 the amount of cattle I've got is increasing. The calculated risk is the return should be good enough, but I've got to make sure I've got enough feed. I have to make sure I've got enough. Then I've got another one down here. Where is it? I'm just looking at my... Nathan. Uh, Nathan, again, is cow sitting. It's interesting how different people kind of come up with the same concepts. Um, Miss Silly P, I'll have a contract for you if you choose. I know you probably get a ton of them, but here we go. I've recently inherited a small dairy farm, but something has come up and I need to return back stateside for about six months. I have 50 head of dairy cattle and I don't know what to do with them while I'm gone. I heard you have a farm... Um, equipped enough to take care of them. Is there any possible way I could um, I could get you to tend to them on your farm until I return? You may keep all the milk, and that is going to be produced on top of what I have. Oh, they could, they're offering me a new Holland Blue Power mixing wagon and some other things as well. That's fine. I'm not going to take those. It will just be the milk because again, I'm just looking after them. So that's already we're up to quite a lot of cows. Um, so it becomes a calculated risk i'm risking taking them all on for the fact that i've got to obviously feed them keep them going all the rest of it at some point they will go back that's fine i have also got two contracts for milk stephen which was a very early contract i got and this is why i'm sorry it's taking a long time to get to cows but you see how the narrative kind of works how the storyline's gone on i couldn't take on cows until i had all the stuff i needed to feed them i mean yes admittedly now with the silos i could have just gone and bought tmr you know, I might be a farmer that doesn't make my own TMR, I'm just going to buy it from someone. So I could have done that if I wanted to. Um, my name is Stephen Jordan. I'm the proud owner and master cheesemaker of Jordan's Cheese Market. We are a family-owned speciality cheese shop located in the state of Kentucky in the USA. This year will mark the 100th year in business, and to celebrate, we would like to offer our customers a cheese we have never made. That cheese would be a true English farmhouse cheddar. And to do so, we require 8,000 litres of milk... Um, 
and we have been told that Marwell Manor Farm produces the best milk in all of England. As compensation for your efforts, we will pay you above the market average price for your milk. That's fine if you choose to accept your contract. And as an added bonus, uh, local farm supply store, we can send you a Lizard Mark 8 8,000 litre milk tanker. Okay, so I would get the price of the milk plus a milk tanker. So you look at the contract and think, actually, you know what? That's a no-brainer because I'm need i going to need a milk tanker anyway. Um, all you need to do is deliver the milk to the dairy and we'll arrange shipment to the USA. Um, as a bonus, the milk tanker is yours to keep free of charge. Thank you for your time. We hope you accept our offer and hear from you soon. I'm sorry, Stephen, it's taken so long to get to it. But yes, we will be doing that. Once we've got the cow tomorrow up and running, we'll be able to supply that contract. And then we have got one here from my old mate Giuseppe. Um, so, your good friend Giuseppe is in need of 20,000 litres of milk for the Easter Egg Festival in his village in Italy. For this, he will pay £40,000. Now, um, we're not far off Easter, so I need to get that contract done. So, Giuseppe, your milk will be coming to you too. So, you see what I mean about these contracts now intertwining? I've got the cow contracts coming in. I've got to work on the cows. They're going to provide the milk, which is going to help me supply other contracts that I've got. But some of the payments, as you can also see, for Cody requires hay. So I've got to do a lot of hay work. That I'm going to do off screen probably because I've done a lot of baling stuff already. And I know people don't want to watch me baling all the time. Um, and then I have got a couple of other contracts. Cunningham Farms want 25 hay bales. Um, I've, so I've got quite a few that are now all interlinking, which is going to mean me trying to work my way through it. So that being said, one of the other contracts that I've got ongoing is the one for um, Green Energy Solutions. If you remember way back when, <laughs> seems like a lifetime ago at the moment, um, Green Energy Solutions were looking for 3 million litres of bale straw, which worked out 750 bales. We have provided already, I'm trying to think how many it was, we're up to about 300 and something. I think we've done about 304. They wanted them in 36s, so what I've been doing is 72, so which is two lots of 36. Um, I've been doing them in lots of 72, which is knocking off that total. So what we've done, sorry I've been talking for a long time and not actually doing any work, um, but I wanted to make sure, you know, the whole contract thing, it, it seems complicated when you first kind of get into it. Bottom line of it is the farming doesn't change. I'm still going to be doing farming, I'm still going to be doing things, but these contracts have a meaning. They've come from real people, I haven't made them up. Um, and then obviously when the stuff goes, if they've offered me something in exchange rather than money, if I take them to a sell point, then I adjust that money down using leasing and stuff like that. So what I did was, when I did fill 15, we got the oats off and we completed Chad's contract. That's done. 50,000 litres have gone off. Um, I then came over and all the straw swaths I bailed. Well, not all of them. I bailed 72. So we've got 24, 24, and 24. So there's another 72 bales for Green Energy Solutions. So when I said I've been busy, I wasn't joking. Um, you know, and all of these things all link. So while I was doing this field, I thought, right, I need to get onto this field. I need to fertilise it. I need to cultivate it. But before I do that, I've got to bale it. I've got to get the bales out of the way. You know, all the things you would have to do in the real world. Now, oddly enough, when I brought the baler out, it had uh, grass in it. So over there, I mean, just see in the distance, there's little dots. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit on that. Uh, yeah, a black dot out there in the field. That is a grass bale, <laughs> which I've got to remove. <laughs> so, like I say, we've been busy. So field 21, field 18 and field 15 here are all now ploughed, fertilised, cultivated, ready for seeding, which is great. I'm not doing the seeding in this episode because I've got more to do. What I'm going to do off screen now is... Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to get rid of these yet, I don't think. What we are going to do, though, is head to the store because we're at that happy time again where we've got 638,000, which is awesome. Contracts paid out. And, oh, actually, no, I've got to pay some of that, haven't I? I need to lose, what, about eight grand of that, don't I, for the uh, solar panel because I have to pay half of uh, what we make back to the energy company, so I need to make sure I do that. Um, we're going to go and buy some new equipment because we've got cows coming. We are going to need um, a feed mixer, because we don't have one. And I think we're probably going to get a telehandler. We're going to get a telehandler because 
Um, one that's useful and handy, but I'm going to need to, if I'm not going to buy a self-propelled feed mixer, which I'm not going to do, um, and this is where I'm going to have to weigh up the options here, I've got to look at how I'm going to get the silage from the bunker silo into the feed mixer. With the hayloft, it's fine, because I can just drive under the hayloft and I can put the straw and hay in, but obviously the silage, that's a whole different ball game. So, let's stop there, let's open the old lap laptop tablet. So, under feed options then, we've got that, which is 158,000, and that's got a capacity of 17,000 litres, but it is self-propelled. So, yeah, you know, you look at it and think, okay, fair enough, that's not a bad option. If I go across here, now with the Anderson DLC out, and this is what I said earlier about it being fortuitous, if we go to animals now, uh, that one is 53 grand in 16,000 litres. That one's 70,000 and is 23,000 litres. That's 115,000, but it's 29,000 litres. So you know what? I'm going to get that. I'm going to get the Anderson A950. It's new, it's big, and it's going to be perfect for what we need. So we're going to buy that. Again, this is the reason for earning the money, so we can buy new equipment and we can expand the farm. That's the whole point of it. So we've got a new uh, trailer, which is great. So I can do some of the feed with that, but I am going to need some way of loading that up. Now, I could do it with conveyor belts and all stuff like that, I suppose. Might be a cheaper option, mightn't it? I could get conveyor belts, but where's the fun in that? I do like to have a telehandle with a bucket, because that can come in quite handy for doing other jobs as well, things like moving bales around and things like that. I'm just trying to think in my head whether that's going to be a waste of money or whether I should use conveyor belts. Because mm. I don't know, since the update, the belt systems... I know this one, the um, SL8022 um, Quantum, worked in the manure pit as a pickup but I don't think it will work in the bunker silos, which means I need to have one of those and one of those. That said, combined that only comes in at, what, 43,000, compared to a telehandler at nearly 100,000 and a bucket. So that actually might not be a bad idea, you know, although the conveyor belt will take up a bit of space. Yeah, well, let's do something different. Yeah, we will do that. Let's get a pickup conveyor. I think I'm going to leave them. Now, actually, everything on my farm's red, isn't it? The Massey Ferguson and all that stuff. Let's go with. Oh, I don't know. Let's go with white for the pickup, shall we? At least we can see it up against the uh, silage. And then we'll get the SL Quantum. There's no option there for colour. So we'll buy that. Right. So, like I said, new equipment. We've got cows on the way. Um, so we need to be providing them with feed. Now I could just give them hay, I could just give them grass. It doesn't have to be TMR, but they're most productive with TMR. Plus they're going to need bedding in the bedding area. So this stuff needs to get back to the farm. I'm going to get this back over, we'll try and get the conveyor belt set up ready to go and make a bit of TMR. Now at the moment, unless you're on um, Mercury Farms on Alien Jim's map, although the mod pack is on its way, Jim is working on the mod pack, which is just phenomenal. Um, we don't have a silo that can hold any of this stuff yet. We can't hold TMR, we just have to make it and use it. I do like the fact we're using this Madison kit, that's cool, the smart mix. So, I'm going to get this back, get the conveyor belt set up, and then what I'm also going to do is get those bales shifted. Um, so, Green Energy Solutions, we've got another 72 bales coming your way. Hopefully, some point soon in the next, what time is it now? 8.46, so hopefully by 9ish, maybe around 9, we should get our first 10 cows. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Then we'll work on the other contracts, and then we should at some point be getting 38 cows um, from Country Farmer. We should be getting 50 cows from Nathan. And then once I've completed the um, hay and straw and silage for um, Cody at Spring Creek Cattle, we should be getting 18 from him. So, yeah, quite a lot. Can't be 
complicated. Nah. As far as I'm aware, we are ready to go. KJ Wiggums have come through again, and we have got 10 cows from the Lord of the Manor, which means we need to make some settlements ration. Uh, so, my calculations are correct. I'm trying to think when I did the uh, the guide to kind of on this. So, let's go to that. Straw, 7,300, I think. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always go just over, just because pressing the button, I'm slow. <laughs> now we need hay, uh, and I normally do two lots of hay, so I'll come at fourteen six, which would be a total of twenty two. So what if I do now is go to hay, and I want to fill that up to get to twenty two thousand. Twenty two just over. The rest now should be silage. In theory, if I've got this right, and if I've got the conveyor belt set up properly, we should back up and it should load some on, but the pickup conveyor, unlike on FS17 where the conveyor would just keep running, you have to kind of go in and out of it, turn it on and off, which you never did before. Which is, you know, not the end of the road. I don't know. Yeah, they probably will. I don't know if they're going to take all of this, and if they don't, I'm going to be in trouble. Because I need to put straw in as well. I should have done the straw first, shouldn't I? Didn't think of that. Right, so let's get that under. Right. Let's back up where we can see. There we go, so. Side is going in. Does seem to be working. Right, the conveyor belt's run out of what was on it. So, what we'll do now... Yes, yeah, so all I've done is got the... Go on to that. The pickup conveyor just at a slight angle here. And that goes onto this one, which goes into that, and that should be fine. I've left enough of a gap here. I do need to move those pallet forks that we can still get through um, with the armour track. Not just the armour track, but for cleaning out the sheep. We are going to get some more sheep. I think I'm going to buy... Oh, no, we've got the animal trailer we can use over at the store, haven't we? I was going to buy my own animal trailer, that new little one um, that I did the review on yesterday. I really like it. I think it's a cool little thing. Uh, right, so what I'm going to do, get into this one and turn on. So that should now keep going because I've got it turned on. But it should stop once this is full. So let's jump back in here. Turn four, turn five, turn six. Um, hasn't turned to silage uh, to TMR yet. I don't think. That's not the TMR symbol, is it? Oh, please tell me it is. There we go. <laughs> total mix ration. I was panicking then. Oh, right. So we are now at total mix ration. 
Now, what also means is, I think that's done. We're full. Brilliant. Um, this then just gets adjusted. I can move that round a little bit, and then I can move that up a little bit, and gradually as we go into the bunker, um, this will all then get moved around. So, you know, probably it's a better option and cheaper than buying a uh, telehandler, although telehandlers are cool. We'll see. Maybe we will at some point. I'm just I'm very close to my slot count. <laughs> that really worries me. But anyway, can't do a lot about that. So, the question is, where do I put this? This is my first time doing cows on here. Now, something I have noticed, I think... Um, let's have a look in here. Let's open this one up. nothing on the floor here hop over that one so I'm not sure where the straw goes this side does it oh, I don't know all I can do is try I suppose now weirdly now I'm not sure what's happened but if you come to here you've got the animal dialogue box if I press, press L3 so we could do direct delivery if we want to or direct selling if we want to um, but the problem is now if I press circle and it, oh hang on take that back. I couldn't get that to work a minute ago. Right, well that's all the gates open. I don't know which ones I need. Whoa, don't you just spear off. Where are you going? No, do I feel it from... Actually, I better close that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do I feel it from the middle? Oh, let's find out. I'm not sure. I really don't know. So we drive this into the middle. Oh, there you go, it's come up already. Well, not doing it badly. Not sure what side it's going to go from. <laughs> Left would be, wouldn't it, the side I'm not looking at. And the trough's filling up this side. So straw is going to be that side, is it? I don't know. Uh, we can but try. I'll go and grab the water from the sheep there as well. It's going to take all this, isn't it? That's the same. Kind of hoping it does now. Fantastic, right? How are we looking for the cows then? Because they're new. Cows ten. Oh, it's not far off for full, is it? Total mix ration. And as far as I understand it, it's part of the update. They don't use it as quickly anymore as they were doing before. Um, that should, the product obviously hasn't changed yet, but it will do. So we need to get water and straw in here for them to be properly productive. And then like I say, it'll be a case of then, actually I'm going to back this up, I think. I don't, um, yeah, I'm going to close that in one. We don't want them getting out from there. And we'll close this one here. There we go. We should have no escapees. I'm going to go and get straw. I'm not going to need as much of that, but... We'll see. Right. Back in a moment. I really wasn't sure how much they were going to need, so I bought a full load. <laughs> you never know. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, I started to panic then. I thought it had to be a bit of a bale shredder. Oh, it's going on that side. But... Oh, there we go. It's filling up this side. Oh, that's all I needed. That's not too bad. Right, let's back that out. I suppose my kind of that idea of making sure I've got everything before I buy them or get them delivered or however I'm getting them came from running seasons on FS17 because the animals could actually die you could actually lose them if they weren't looked after I was always terrified of getting them not having enough stuff ready and that you know I say terrified it's probably the wrong word but you know what I mean um, right you've got the armor track with the water tank that came over from sheep um, it's kind of handy they're all right here because the chickens don't require water 
So let's fill this up first. I'm so glad I bought the armor track. Thank you, Silas, for the store. You give me the loan at the start off. In all honesty, had that contract not come through from Silas, had he not suggested me having a loaner, I probably never would have used one. Because I kind of looked and thought, oh, it's a diddy little tractor, and it's, you know, but it's brilliant. I know I've said that before. Right, where's the... Just see it through the long grass. Okay, so let's fill this trough up, shall we? We might not fill it, but we'll get. Oh, no, we might do. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, I've got some water anyway. That's the main thing. I suppose what would have been handy would be to have a gate that goes between these two. <laughs> I could have come from that water trough to this water trough without going all the way around. I don't suppose if you drive around behind it. We'll have to try that. Maybe it'll work. Anyway. I think... They've got what they need to start off with. I've got more than 10 cows here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in the background. Oh no, 10. Awesome. Don't know why the overnight lights are on. They shouldn't be. Let's close that. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Cows, 10. Productivity, 99%. There we go. I mean, that's that's the thing. Um, you don't need to do grass or hay and silage and those separate things. You can get to 100% productivity without. Somebody did say to me the other day, and I can't remember who it was now, I apologise, um, that if you do put hay, silage and grass in, it slows down the use of everything else. So whilst you're adding more in, it reduces the amount or the speed at which it's um actually being used because they're kind of using all of it so i guess that kind of makes sense really it wouldn't hurt to do a whole load of grass at one point just pick up with a loading wagon chuck a load in there and just see what happens i've got plenty of grass in field 19. um but there we go that's our first 10 cows we're good there are going to be more coming over the next few days i would imagine maybe the next 24 hours i don't know um I'm going to crack on with um, Cody's contract, so I will get the um, hay bales done. don't know if you saw them on the way in. I'll whiz over and show you now. Um, the straw bales, you wanted 10 straw, 30 hay. So there's the 10 straw. They came off of field 15 as well. So they're there. I'll have 30 hay, and then there'll be the two IT runner trailer loads of silage. Um... And then we should get 18 cows from Cody. So that's pretty cool. Um, but with that, I think... <coughs> <coughs> we have come, I think, to the end of this episode. Where are the lights? Here we go. Yeah, turn off lights. We're not in use. Come on now. Um, so yeah, we've got a load of stuff finished off. The straw bales have all gone. Um, the fields are ready now prepped for what I'm going to do next I have got soybean to harvest over in field 13 and 14 which I will need to do but we have got the first of our cows um, I am going to buy some more sheep I've been saying that for a few episodes so as per usual on Marwell Manor Farm it's all go I hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>